Hi, my name's Ed, and I'm going to be training you on the Karagi Check in range INR meter for patient self testing. When you receive your package, you will get a box. Inside the box, you will receive a manual and a carry case. In the carry case, you will have the meter, the soft clicks pen, the USB cable, four alkaline AAA batteries, and 20 lances. On the front of the meter, you have your screen, your power button, which is also your confirmation button, your up and down arrow keys to navigate through the menus, your back arrow key, your strip guide cover, and your strip guide. On one side of the meter, you have your co-chip port. Whenever you open a new pot of strips, you will receive a co-chip and you need to insert a co-chip into that port. On the other side of the meter, you have your USB port to connect your device to your PC. On the back of the meter, you have your meter serial number and your battery compartment. When inserting the batteries, please follow the symbols to insert them correctly. The Potter strips contains 24 individual strips. When removing a strip, please ensure to put the lid straight back on the pot, and when handling the strips, ensure you have clean, dry hands. The arrows on the strip indicate the direction you're going to insert the strip into the meter, and the clear section is where you're going to apply your blood, and you can apply the blood to the top of that clear section or to either side of the clear section. The sample volume is eight microliters, and to give you some sort of image, that is a ladybird-sized drop of blood. To turn the meter on, press the power key. To navigate through the menu, you can press the up and down arrow keys. To select my result, press the power key to confirm. In review results, you can see the history of your results. And for all other options, please refer to the manual for further information. You can set reminders on your meter. To do this, navigate down to reminders in the menu and press the power button to confirm. Confirm new. You can set reminders for blood tests, others, appointments, and medication. So select the correct reminder and confirm time, date, and frequency, and then save. To select settings, use the navigation key and press the enter key. In settings, you can change your language. You can change the time and date. It is important to make sure the time and date are correct. You can select the unit of measurement and the result format. In this option, you can have a simple result format or a detailed result format. Please refer to the manual for further information. You can set your target range and you can adjust the volume of the beeper, the brightness of the screen. You can choose to switch the button click on or off. And data transfer gives you the option to transfer data from the device to your PC. In settings, you can select your therapeutic range. Select set targets, enter your time period, and enter your therapeutic range as advised by your healthcare professional. Once you set your ranges, press confirm. Inside your package, you'll receive one AccuCheck soft clicks pen and 20 single-use lancets. To insert the lancet, remove the cap from the end of your pen. 
Insert the lancet into the pen and twist and remove the lid and replace the cap. There is a dial with settings one to five for the depth of the lancet and setting three is the medium setting. To prime the lancet, press the button at the end of your pen. You will know that the lancet has been primed when this button is yellow. When you're ready, firmly press the pen against the side of the finger and trigger the lancet by pressing the button. Before performing a test, ensure you have inserted the code chip into the meter. If the meter has not seen the correct code chip, you will not be able to perform a test. Ensure you have everything you need, including the meter, the AccuCheck SoftClicks pen, strips, a suitable container to dispose of used equipment, and tissues. To perform a test, switch the meter on, ensuring you have enough power by checking the battery symbol. Also check the time and date are correct. Then select test. Only insert the strip when you see the symbol of a strip and a meter on the screen. Take a strip out of the pot, ensuring you put the lid straight back on. Insert the strip into the meter. The meter will then warm the strip up and count down 180 seconds. Only lance the finger when you see the countdown begin. Before lancing the finger, ensure you thoroughly wash your hands using soap and warm water. Also make sure the finger is completely dry before lancing. To encourage the blood, you can also warm the hand up, hang it down and milk and massage the finger. When ready, press firmly against the side of the finger, avoiding the tips, the pads and the knuckles. And to lance the finger, press the button. Massage the finger to get eight microliters. Remember that's a ladybird sized drop. And apply the drop of blood directly to the top of the clear section of the strip. Keep your finger held on the strip and the capillary action will suck the blood in. Remove your finger when you hear the beep. When the result appears on the screen, you have the option to add comments and transfer the data. To return to the main menu, take the strip out and dispose of the strip appropriately. You can apply the blood sample to the top of the strip or to the side. To apply it to the side of the strip, lance the top of the finger, massage to get a ladybird size drop, and then hold on to the side of the strip. When the result appears, you can choose to add a comment or go straight to the main menu. Remove the strip and dispose of that strip appropriately. Please make sure you apply the first drop of blood within 15 seconds. If the test fails, for example, due to a sampling error, please repeat the test using a new strip and a fresh site for lancing. Lancets are single use and should be disposed of appropriately after every test. To dispose of the lancet, remove the cap and pull on the collar. We recommend you clean your meter thoroughly after every test. To clean the meter, please follow the instructions in your manual for recommended cleaning products. The wipe needs to be lint free. Thoroughly clean the front, sides and back of the meter. And if required, remove the strip guide cover and clean the pad underneath. Thanks for watching that training video. Please refer to the manual for any further information.